Fostering psychological safety becomes imperative in motivating team members to contribute their ideas to the group. When working in team environments, it's important to understand that different members can possess different levels of comfort while speaking. Conversational turn-taking then becomes a very valuable technique to practice when promoting psychological safety. Conversations can be compared to a game of catch. The person with the ball is the person talking. If one person in the group holds the ball for too long, or if two people are throwing the ball between themselves and not the third member of the group, people will feel left out. Same goes for a conversation. Turn-taking is a complicated dance that requires cooperation between members of the team or group. A simple turn has three recognizable parts to it, the opening, the content, and the ending signal. You will start by looking at the ending signals, because you can't recognize when someone's finished speaking, you will never be able to start. In a conversation, it's important to recognize the signals of when someone's turn has ended. When someone's ready to give up the floor, they gave off indicators. One such indicator is the deliberate selection of the next speaker. Well, I don't know, guys. I personally like dogs more because cats, you can't take them for walks. You can't really teach them tricks. Dogs, they love people, too. They're always, like, down to play with you and stuff. I don't know. What do you think, Mira? I personally like cats better just because they're cleaner and they're a lot less work. What do you think, Lindsay? I like dogs. They're more fun. You can take them outside and you get to do more stuff more stuff with you. And they just seem to like people better. Some less obvious indicators would be when the speaker lowers their volume or trails off when they are done talking. Um, I know you guys said you liked dogs before, but I don't know. I think that cats sort of um, are smaller and you can cuddle with them in bed and dogs aren't really, I don't know, I feel like they're not as easy to do that with. It's, uh, no, I can agree with that. And plus, like, cats like to purr and stuff, too. Dogs don't really purr. Speaker selection is also important when it comes to conversational turn-taking. As we mentioned before, one technique of speaker selection is to deliberately select the next speaker. However, when no selection is made or you're unsure whether the turn has ended, two techniques can help carry the speaker selection process. Firstly, one could pause and wait a couple moments before self-selecting for themselves to talk. Secondly, starting your turn with sorry, but can I just say, ask, or interject would also be a good option. You know, but big dogs are just so fun, like you can wrestle with them, and cat you can't really do that with cats, they're a little more fragile. If I can just say quickly though, um, one thing that cats do have going for them is that their purring actually helps heal their bones and humans' bones, which is pretty cool. Finally, when a speaker is done and another member wants to talk, using appropriate turn openers becomes a useful technique. A turn opener is a simple method of claiming your turn within the conversation. It works by acknowledging, agreeing with, or disagreeing with what was said before you with utterances such as okay, well, hmm, or yeah. These kinds of phrases signal the acknowledgement of what was said before you and hint at a person's position on a topic. Another thing that's really cool about cats that you can't get with dogs is that when you go on vacation, you can leave your cat home alone and all he needs is like a litter box, a bowl of food, and a bowl of water. Yeah, that's true, but I... Uh... I don't know, like, finding a dog sitter really isn't that hard, and sometimes you could just bring your dog with you on vacation, whereas cats, maybe not so much. All these techniques can be very helpful for conversational turf-taking. So now let's take a look at what happens when conversational turf-taking breaks down. I mean, I think dogs cats are so much cats better are than dogs. Evil. Cats are basically evil. Dogs are so much better. Cats are not evil. Dogs are not evil. Everyone loves dogs more than cats. There's no way. They're cleaner. They're so much easier to take care of. Cats, by far, are the better animal. The key to good teamwork is good communication. When practicing conversational skills, it's important to remember that a conversation is a two-way street. Promoting good conversation through conversational turn-taking is just one key to promoting psychological safety amongst group members. Thank you for watching.